Hello my friends and welcome back to another daily check-in today. Looking at the horizon, this is one of my favorite spots to come and watch the sunset, come meditate, and now share these videos with you. And in today's video, I wanted to share something that I was reminded of this morning after I posted a video of me performing a press to handstand on the beach and realizing that when I post uh, something that is a human trick or something a little bit more superficial, something less thought out, I tend to get more engagement, more traction, more comments, more views, uh, more hype than if I post something that is more thought out or thought provoking or what I would consider more meaningful. And how this in my career as a coach has been something that I've struggled with because I haven't wanted to be put in a box or labeled as only one thing because I believe, or at least my ego believes, that I'm so much more than that. Anyways, this also uh, led me to be reminded of a little story which happened at the Hold the Standard Summit that my friend Logan Gelbrick was hosting in, I think it was March of 2018. And how in the Hold the Standard Summit, Logan does an exercise on stereotypes. And he decided that it would be a good idea to use me as an example. And he did this by asking the group whether anyone there knew who I was. And there were a few people who uh, were familiar with me and my work. And he asked them how they perceived me, what they thought I did, who they thought I was. And their answer was very simple. It was Carl teaches handstands to CrossFitters and he's the muscle up guy. That's, that's who he is. And I was so infuriated. I was pissed to the point where I stood up and I gave this speech justifying myself and uh, just frustrated and upset. And anyways, the summit passed and on my drive back home with Tanya, which was a six hour drive from LA to San Francisco, I was thinking about this over and over again and why being labeled as the muscle up guy or the guy who teaches handstands to CrossFitters, why that bothered me and what I should do about it. And when I got home, I decided that I had two options. I could either break away from it completely and just start something completely new or I could double down on it, lean into it, and see what happens. And I decided to lean into it, double down on it. And I did that by starting a new workshop seminar that I was teaching called the Muscle Up Masterclass. And I used that title specifically because I wanted to let people know that I am the master and I'm gonna give you a lesson on this thing that you believe I know something about. And, and I did this and I started the Muscle Up Master class and uh, I ran that for a while and here's what happened. After approximately a year, this workshop had generated over $100,000. In addition to generating over $100,000, it also allowed me to work less. This was a two hour workshop versus an eight hour workshop that I was teaching before. Uh, in addition to that, it allowed me to think less and do more, meaning to just be who I needed to be in that moment, meaning that I could use the pillars of knowledge that I had in this subject matter as a way of weaving in the message that I believed was important to relay. And now that I can look back and I have a little bit of space to think about this, I think it's so powerful to realize that if we are being labeled a certain way, that we actually have a choice on how to interact with it. And we can either break away from it, which I didn't do at that time, or we can lean into it, move towards it. And by doing so, it doesn't mean we're selling out or we're being more superficial. We're actually using it as a progression tool. We're allowing people to move towards us because they understand us, they feel safe. And then once they're in our circle, now we can give them what they came for and more. And I find this to be very powerful. And it's something that I'm currently 
also working on by thinking about what my future looks like and where I'm going as a coach, what I'm doing with my business and how people are going to perceive me and label me going forward and how by simply being aware of that, I'm going to be able to navigate the waters ahead. So I just wanted to share that little story and might as well give Logan Gelbrick a shout out here and say, Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. You know much how much I love you and appreciate you. And if you, as a viewer, have a chance to attend his Hold the Standard Summit, do it. It's a game changer. It changed my life. It helped Tanya. And I recommend it to anyone who is watching or listening to this right now. So that, my friends, that is my check-in for today. Thank you for watching. I'm going to continue enjoying this view and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Peace.